Now then. There you are. Help yourself, look. All right, that's enough. Which ones are you choosing today? I'm not going to pick, it, pick your own. Well, you're the expert, you pick them. <coughs> you pick them, Lou. See which you want. Well, those two at the front, eh? Well, this one? Yes. Which it's other? A, it's a fit looking creature. Oh, that brownish one as this well. One? Eh? Yes. You want them right down? Well, just according to championship rules, I think. Well, you can't see them to go right down. They go right down at the bottom. Oh, I just put them right inside, you can't. No half measures here. Why don't you come out into the open air, then we can see what's going on, eh? You've got one poking out at the back. I think he's trying to get out. Do the ferrets enjoy this? No, they don't. And how long can you keep a ferret down your trousers? How long? Yes. Oh. You've got the world record, haven't you? Yeah. How long? 5,023 minutes, unofficial, then I broke it, official. 5,023 out of six minutes. What is going on inside your trousers? They're nosing round. Do they ever bite? Yeah. Oh. Well, it may be a silly question, but if they bite so hard and hurt you, why do you do it? Well, that's it. It's a challenge. I mean, have people been doing this for a long time in Barnsley? I have. But you issued a challenge. Did anybody else take it up? There's two or three taking it up, and the Chronicle Office has got them challenges. They've got, they going to sponsor it, you see. A chap was going to do it for the uh, Chronicle Office. <coughs> And now your ferret's coming out again. Now it's fell through. Oh, both of them are coming out. Now it's, it's fell through, you see. How do you keep them down? I mean, they're poking out all the time. Well, you have your trousers. Well, you, you better fasten up a bit tighter, don't you? Because they're going to get away. No, they won't get away. So how do they spend their time while they're inside your trousers? Well, you can see them walking about. Oh. And I've always stressed that they have wide... Get out! Oh, yeah. It was at this point that we had to abandon filming. One of the ferrets had sunk its teeth into a tender part of his anatomy and refused to let go. Mr. Mellor gritted his own teeth, administered medication, and said yes, he'd had worse before, for in the fast-moving sport of ferret legging, such injuries are commonplace. Now, after a fitness test, though, the uncrowned king of the ferret leggers hopes to be back in the game within days.